Hi friends, it's Jessie. Welcome back to the channel. Today I have another exciting Huda Beauty palette review for you. I'm reviewing the Huda Beauty Wild Python Obsessions palette. This is what she looks like. Very fabulous and luxurious. If you're interested in seeing my thoughts on this palette and how I created this look on my eyeballs today, then keep on watching. I have another desk buddy today. This is my new Neon Pothos plan. I drove an hour to get her on Facebook Marketplace. Haven't named her yet, so if you have name suggestions, she needs a name. Also, I put my Monstera plant back here. I'm trying to figure out a way to make this look cute because this is all not my stuff um, and I don't want to mess with it, but this is like the best lighting situation. So uh, I think I'm eventually going to put some pictures on the wall, but if it looks weird, please ignore it. I, it's a work in progress. As promised last week, I am doing a look with the new Huda Beauty Wild Python palette. I'm so, so excited and always the best. I'm also trying out a new foundation today. This is the um, Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Glow thing. Um, I got mine in the shade Fair 20. I kind of like it, but I'm having like some weird skin situations right now. I'm just like going through a lot and super stressed. So my skin is like acting crazy and it's kind of clinging in some weird spots. So um, if my foundation is bothering you, please ignore that too. As always, I'm going to prime with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Eye Primer. This is literally the best eye primer. No one can convince me otherwise. I'm just blending that out with my finger. It's just easier than using a brush, honestly. This is the palette. There are a ton of colors in here. I'm so, so excited. There is some neutrals. There's some greens, of course, as it's a Python palette, hence my green sweater. Honestly, I'm just gonna go for it. I think I'm gonna do a crazy colorful look today. I'm not really sure how it's gonna turn out, but we're gonna try it. I'm gonna go in first with this chartreuse shade. I'm gonna use a Morphe M441. This is a fluffy blending brush. And I'm going to use this as kind of my transition shade. So I'm blending that onto the crease a little bit above into my eyebrow. As always, I like to smoke out my shadow. I am a one-trick pony, honestly. I do the same basic steps, just different colors. I match my plant with this shade. Now that I have that first transition shade, I think I wanna go into the teal that's right above it, this kind of matte aqua teal color. I'm gonna take this on a Morphe M433 brush, and I'm going to also put that in the crease just below where that chartreuse shade is, kind of blending it up. I want this teal color to be the main crease shade and I want the chartreuse to kind of be like an outline almost, kind of like a glowy outline. I always love these types of shades together though, they're so pretty. I moved my mirror to this side so hopefully you guys can see my eyeshadow a little bit better because I feel like at the other angle it was just kind of hard to see. When working with really pigmented shades like this and building up multiple colors, I always like to start in the outer corners, um, like the outer third of my lid, and then I like to pack it down and then start blending it inwards. That way you don't get a crazy amount of that pigment in the inner portion, because um, sometimes it can make the look look a little muddy. I'm gonna take a smaller Morphe blending brush. This is the M562. I'm gonna hop back into Chartreuse and I'm going to just barely outline the outside of the teal shade again, just to make sure that that chartreuse shade really pulls through on the outline. Next, I'm gonna take a Morphe M456, and I think I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna go into this kind of navy blue shimmer, and I'm gonna use that as a crease shade. So I'm gonna tap into it a little bit. It's going to take some building up, I'm sure, um, but I'm gonna start by putting that in the outer corner and buffing that very lightly into the crease. Just to give a little bit more dimension. I don't normally work with shimmers like this, um, but I wanna try something different today. So this I'm staying pretty true to where my actual crease is. I just want that extra little bit of depth and dimension. Um, and I think with the shimmer, when I put the shimmers on my lid, it will blend very nicely. 
I'm thinking something like this, just enough to add that depth so you can kind of see the little shimmer going on. Just enough to add some of that dimension and make it a nice transition from light down to dark, um, but not anything super crazy. I think it would be really nice if they had like a navy blue matte, but the deepest shade is this dark brown, and I just thought that that would kind of lose all the color, and I'm going for a really colorful look today. I think I'm gonna fake a cut crease today. I don't feel like putting in the effort to do an actual cut crease with the concealer and everything. Um, so I'm just gonna take some shimmers and do a faux cut crease. As always, Fix Plus Spray. If you've watched any of my videos, you should know that this is my routine. I love a good setting spray for my shimmers. Next, I think I'm going to hop into this lime green shimmer shade and I'm going to start with that um, on the inner portion of my eyelid and working it out towards the rest. Huda has those nice chunky shimmers. Um, they're not everyone's cup of tea. I think they have a good time and a place when it comes to makeup looks. They're not my typical go-to. I prefer more of like a wet foiled metallic type shade, um, but I do really like the quality of these shimmers. Next, I'm gonna go back into that deep blue shimmer and I'm going to just make sure that those edges are buffed really nice and blended. And I'm also gonna take this a little bit into the outer third of my eyelid and just kind of pack that and blend it into the green. I feel like that'll be nice just for it to all blend together. And then of course going back in with a blending brush and kind of blending that back into the teal. With colorful looks like this, it's really just a lot of like putting things down and then blending them back. So it's very not cohesive in terms of how to apply all the shadows. I do want to take a little bit of this gold shade and I think I'm going to pop that right into the center of my lid just for like an extra little shine, something, something different. So I'm like literally just popping this in the bottom center of my lid just to give it a nice glow. That is beautiful. This reminds me of like peacock feathers. Just this whole look. I'm very lightly kind of tapping that upwards into the other shades. Now it's time for lower lash line. I think we tried a lot of the fun colors. So now let's go into some of these neutrals. I think I'm gonna try this, um, ooh, which shades do I wanna use? I know I wanna use this one, the coral. So let's go and start with the coral first. I'm just taking this on a Morphe. This is the Morphe Jeffree Star JS12 brush. It's just kind of like a papered detail blending brush. And I'm just smoking that coral shade into my lower lash line. Next, I'm going to take this Morphe M326. It's just a detailed smudger, and I'm going to go into this kind of caramel brown color next to the uh, coral, and I'm smoking that even closer to my lash line. The last shade I want to dip into is this middle kind of shimmer shade. I want to use it as an inner corner shade. However, it is a little dark, so I think I'm going to go take my regular highlighting shade and just go ahead and pop that into the inner corners underneath it. That way it'll brighten this middle shade up a little bit. So that just created this kind of light blue inner corner effect. I'm gonna quick throw on some liner lashes and finish up the rest of my face. And then I'll be back for my final thoughts on this little palette. Alrighty friends, this is the final look. I went ahead and threw on some lashes, some lipstick, finish my face. Um. I think it's about time I need to buy new lashes. I'll be honest, these are barely hanging on for dear life. But uh, let's talk about my final thoughts on this palette. Honestly, I think I kind of like this one more than the Wild Jaguar palette, which I reviewed last week. I think the color story in this is just so fun and cohesive. It is so inspiring. I used all but one shade today. The only shade I didn't use was that dark brown. And I loved it. I thought these mattes were all just amazing. Pure just great. The shimmers were great. Um, I, they're definitely not my favorite shimmer formula, but they're also not awful. They're really good, actually. I did use my shimmers with a setting spray, and that's how I got mine to be so vibrant on my eyelids, um, but I'm sure that you could build it up to have a pretty good pigmentation as well. 
Um, the only shade that kind of disappointed me that I tried today was that middle topper shade. I don't really know what I expected. It was the shade I used as an inner corner. Honestly, it just kind of made it look like a dingier inner corner shade when I used it on top of my regular highlighter. And um, I'm not really here for it. I don't really see the point of that particular shade, um, but every other shade in the palette I thought was great, well thought out. I'm already thinking of so many fun looks that I can do with this palette. And I'm so, so excited that I decided to pick this one up as well. I highly recommend this. Honestly, I think this is just a very well done palette. I'm really into these smaller, more cohesive color stories. There was a bit of fallout on my face, um, but that's not really an issue. Normally I do my eyes first. Today I just decided to switch it up a little bit. I honestly think this was just an absolute hit. I, fabulous. I don't really think I have any other thoughts on this. I think it was great. That is it for today's video, friends. If you did enjoy it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so you never miss out on any of my future reviews and uploads. I will link my Wild Jaguar palette review in the description below if you're interested in checking that one out next. And with that, I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye, friends.